We haven't done anything in the house. There are a lot of vegetables in there. I love you, lady. We'll bring the wedge and close the lid. Hello everyone, long time no see. I haven't vlogged for a long time. I have my pew 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 pew. Um, I haven't vlogged for a long time, partially because uh, like during pregnancy my brain doesn't work. So sometimes when I do stuff, I forgot to take my camera or bring my camera or I just feel lazy about turning on my camera. So bad I was gonna vlog my entire pregnancy journey and that has failed <laughs> uh, terribly. But we're in our third trimester already at the time of filming today. I'm actually 30 weeks and a half. So today is actually a pamper day. Um, I actually booked a in-home prenatal massage with one of my friends from the gym. I'm super excited. I'm a little bit nervous. I've never had in-home massage before and I feel like I don't know where in my house is perfect for that setting. Usually in the bedroom, but our bedroom doesn't have a curtain. There are just so many things to do and so little time to do it. Um, but I was like, let's make it a pamper day. So we're gonna do some face mask before the massage. Also, my allergies is like going crazy right now. Sick. I'm not sick, but I think there are two reasons. The allergy recently is really, really bad in San Antonio. And the second reason is like when, you, when you're pregnant, you have more bodily fluid, which means you may have more mucus in your body. And nose congestion is one of the most common pregnancy symptoms. It depends. Some people don't have it at all, but if I have it, uh, regardless, have allergies, really bad allergies before I was pregnant, it's basically a disaster. Um, it may not happen to people who don't have allergies. Usually there need to be a trigger. And it's, I did have sinus infection uh, several months ago. Definitely pregnancy has like um, exacerbate, exacerbate? Exacerbate? Exacerbate it uh, way worse. So we're gonna put in a little bit of the Watermelon Glow Hyaluronic Clay Port Tight facial we're gonna make a pamper day today and then tonight um brandon's office they're gonna play pickleball and i'm gonna go hang out with the chicken and pickle another thing is like we haven't done anything in the house because like uh, obviously like i'm too big to do a lot of the things that i wanted to do and brandon is moving office so brandon hasn't been doing anything in the house lately so everything is just piling up of tears later Let's do a little skincare routine and i wanted to take a walk today before we do the uh, muscle i've been feeling really bad lately <sighs> about being sleepy and fatigued um i know it's normal in the third trimester but it's just so bad that i feel like i don't even know myself so the eye cream that i used is the clinic um, all about eyes. I'm trying to use like more gentle skincare these days and the toner that I use is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner. Now we're gonna follow up with the Clinique, the um, Moisture Surge Water Cream. I like this one a lot. So the sunscreen that I've been using is the Super Goop. Super Goop Share Screen, uh, Mineral Share Screen SPF 30. So when you're pregnant, try to use mineral sunscreen or just use mineral sunscreen. If you're not pregnant, you could use combination, but I always use mineral because like it's the best, it's the most stable and it's the less sensitizing for your skin. Like it doesn't break down because it's not like chemical reactions. I'm wearing a rope for Kindred Bravely. <laughs> um, I bought this as like my hospital stay rope. I think I'm gonna use it when I go, you know, stay in the hospital after delivery. But I was like, it's just like so perfect for the current weather. My cats really like it. So my cats just sit behind me on my chair. Like I have two cats. My girl cat is very clingy and she just really loves to cuddle with people. And she's been grooming my rope. So I have a lot of furs on my rope and my cat is like licking, grooming my rope because my cat, you know, when they they groom you that means they love you and then i was like oh that's a lot of fur but yeah we're gonna get changed and we're gonna take a walk this is my girl cat her name is nala and when we first got her she was so bad she had like food anxieties and stuff and it didn't go away for like long time for like i would say seven months but recently she's been calmed down a little so i can eat 
um, food with her around and she doesn't go crazy anymore. And I think because she's a girl, I think she can tell I'm pregnant and she's been like super sweet to me lately and she's been guarding me uh, every day. So every time I go into a room, she just followed me and then she sleeps there. And we bought this cat uh, bed a long time ago when I first got her and she never used it. And then like two months ago, she started showing interest and it's starting last month. She's been sleeping in it every single day. So if I am in this room, she will go to her bed. Like there has been a time that I, she gave me a huge headache because I felt like I just couldn't like get my life together with my pregnancy symptoms and like the food and the cat and like you know everything. But now she's calmed down so much before the baby is here. So I'm actually super super excited. I don't even care. I love you, baby. She's my babies. I love you, baby. See how cute she is. Okay, let's go take a walk. Alright guys, this is the weather app. It seems like it's gonna rain really soon. Really, really, really soon. So we gotta walk right now. It's gonna be a groomy day. Groomy day. Alright guys, I got these shoes from Costco. They're the Skechers walking shoes. They're just so comfortable for walking. Alright, let's go for a walk, please. Before it rains again, my allergies is so bad. I'm gonna get a jacket and some napkins, so I have napkins or t-shirt papers when I walk. Here's my other cat guy, Simba. Simba is a really cute ginger cat. He's a boy. He's so cute. He sits right here by my chair in front of my computer. Gets that's the where the boss sits. So cute, baby cat, 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 cat. I love him so much. I guess we're gonna get the keys for mail. We haven't got our mail for like three weeks. Oh gosh, <laughs> let's go. Look at my big belly. <laughs> this is my cell phone strap. Look at my big belly. I can barely see my feet, see my legs when I walk these days. Meow meow. There is my 30 weeks and a half big belly. It's actually really small. It's smaller than other people when they're in their 30 weeks, but it's pretty big for me. <laughs> it's still growing. All right, guys, I'm back. I actually did two rounds because the first round, I walked to the mailbox and I realized that it was the wrong freaking key. Uh, it's definitely my pregnancy brain because I remember picking up the key. I was like, I have to make sure this is the mailbox key, not like some sort of other like small house household key. It turned out that I pick up the opposite one. Like I knew which one it was, but then I pick up the opposite one that I knew. So it's like a brain glitch. So it's been happening a lot recently, especially one time I was sending a student an email. By the way, if you didn't know, I'm a college lecturer. I teach at this university. So I was sending a student an email. I was like, I felt like there is a glitch in the Blackboard system that like, you know, your assignment wasn't submitted. Can you resubmit it? And then I put, it seems like there is a glitch on YouTube. Please resubmit your, I was like, what? What YouTube? I was, and I was in a highly focused mode. I wasn't like doing multiple things at once. I was like, I want to be productive that day. And I was super productive. I was like grading papers and emails. And then I was like, what did I say in the last email? So I feel like my pregnancy brain is the worst in the third trimester. Even though the first trimester I was so tired and fatigued, I felt like my brain wasn't like completely like a mush. Now recently it's completely a mush. Okay, we're gonna do some matcha latte. So I got the Trader Joe's matcha powder. This is pure matcha. It's not the matcha latte version. I highly recommend just get the matcha powder. They're a little bit more expensive. They're definitely expensive. They're like $7. $7.99 for seven packs, so it's like almost a dollar per pack. But these are higher quality matcha than a lot of the matcha powders that I found on the market. But it doesn't have that, that questionable creamer and it doesn't have like a lot of sugar. So we put a little bit of hot water in there. And this is the milk frother. You can also use a bamboo whisk, but that takes forever. So we're just gonna froth it to blend it. If you use the frother, you just froth it until you can see the foam. You can see a little bit of foam at the top. That is a good sign. If you use a whisk, this is basically what you want to achieve. And get some ice. And we got some ice. Yay! Got some more ice. Look at how pretty. Look at this, guys. It's so pretty. 
and close the lid. Here is your matcha latte. Ta-da! Cheers! This is my favorite drink because um, mostly coffee has like a lot of caffeine. It makes you jitterish and then during pregnancy you're supposed to control how much caffeine you take. I think matcha is, it gives you a lot of caffeine actually. It has more caffeine than green tea, but it's still better than coffee. And I feel like by putting ice, it, I kind of dilute it a little bit more. And I just love the color. It's just so pretty. This is so Instagram worthy, YouTube worthy, B-roll worthy. It, it just makes me happy so much. I feel like every time I have mood swing or feel bad, if I drink a little bit of caffeine, usually it solves the problem. It, it so does, especially iced latte. Um, it just is so refreshing. And at the same time, it gives you that caffeine kick. Alright guys, my my cat just knocked down the camera. I'm gonna be in the focus mode. Alright guys, I just took a shower and we have 30 minutes before my appointment. So, um, but I got a little hungry. I ate breakfast, but got a little hungry. So I have some like soup from Taco Palenque. It's not a good idea to eat before massage, honestly. So I'm just gonna get some vegetables from the soup. I, I'm trying not to eat too much because we're going to chicken um, pickle and they actually have pretty good food there But I feel like I have to eat something just in case I got super hungry during the massage And these days if I get super hungry, I just feel like very bad um, Can't do anything until I eat. I just go really crazy. Let me show you what the soup looks like I think in the past if I'm not pregnant, I probably wouldn't eat anything because like, you know I'm going to the chicken pickle at 5 30 but like right now like I just cannot fast Like you know in the past I could do intermittent fasting But now like every time I feel hungry I have to eat right away or else I just feel really really bad um, I've gained so much weight like 35 pounds already and I'm like 10 weeks to go So <laughs> I hope I don't get too big But this is what the soup looks like Let's microwave it and drink a little bit of the soup I'm just gonna primarily eat the vegetables right now and then put the rest in the fridge. There are a lot of vegetables in there, so I'm just gonna eat the carrots and stuff and go easy on the meat because they're harder to digest. I microwave for two minutes, but I felt like the soup is just warm, not hot. 2,000 years later. All right, guys, so we're back here again. I just had my massage and I took a shower. Now I'm dressed, ready to go to Chicken Pico event. We're going to do another skincare routine. I took like, I'm going to take three showers today. So I took a shower before massage. I took a shower after massage and I'm going to take a shower after. But it felt so good. It's probably the best massage I've had within the last like a year or two years um so she really got in deep with my shoulders and then like she focused more on my sci sciatica which is greatly appreciated i felt so good it's in home you know what i mean like i don't have to drive anywhere like to fight over the traffic and stuff so i'm just completely relaxed and put a little bit of makeup to go out to this chicken and pickle. I'm not gonna play pickleball or whatever, but I really like the food at chicken and pickle. So it just like, you know, I like to eat, <laughs> why not? And it's like a fun event. I some might become less social. I think part of the reason is like, I feel tired all the time. So I felt like my energy is a little bit low um, to social. But other than that, I feel like I need to push myself to social a little bit more. Skin on, but my skin has been pretty good. Um, just some light makeup. I really like the massage today. I didn't film any B-rolls because I didn't want her to feel uncomfortable because she already does in home. But like, I was like, I was trying to snuck a pic of the massage table or whatever. But she, um like packed really quickly so I didn't get a chance but I felt so good so I think I'm gonna book another one in April for my birthday 
um, I want to take another road trip in April because like, you know, once the kid is here, I'm not going to be able to take as many road trips, especially. All right, guys, it's so sunny. We're here at Chicken and the Pickle. Ta-da! Are you going to play pickleball? How many cords did you reserve? Just one. Ta-da! Chicken and pickle. I actually like their food, so I'm excited. Let's go! It's like not even like it's like half chicken and one chicken. This one is so good. Give me a drumstick. They have really good food here. Give me the rest of the avocado. It makes this plate better. Um, dinner was great and then we went to get boba and now we're home gonna feed the cats and then we're gonna take a final walk so, even though I walked during the day already but we're gonna take a final walk but you can see my face and whatever start to swell up um, since the beginning of the of the day that's basically what happened this days. in the morning my face is way smaller compared to the end of the day and my entire body just gets swollen off um but yeah i'm so stuffed so definitely we're gonna walk for like 30 minutes okay let's see the babies hey babies hey babies hey babies cat food we're first gonna go into this room our mutt room to feed our first one so look at this he already chewed all over this guys look his face is just in the box two scoops okay and then we're gonna close the door so she doesn't attack Simba's food meow
All right, that's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys have fun. It's actually my so my day off today. Tomorrow I teach three yoga classes, um, one during the day and two in the evening. So tomorrow's gonna be a busy kind of tiring day. I get really tired because I teach three yoga classes. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you so much for spending a day with me. Um, it's a chill day for me. Um, some days I work more these days. Some days I work less depending on the day. Um, but today I just grade some papers and reply some emails. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're almost 10K subscribers. So make sure you subscribe to join the fan. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Adios.